Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I am back with another Aaron's art tip. It's been a while, but I thought it would be fun to get back to doing this. Um, I'm really into drawing animals, as many of you know, and I get so many questions on how do I draw animals that are moving and, and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, if you want to go draw animals out in the wild, or if you want to go to the zoo, and you want to draw them from life, they're not going to sit still all the time. They're going to be moving. So there's, some, there's a few things that I think about. Uh, when I'm drawing animals that are moving. One of those things is finding the big shapes. Sit down, don't get caught up in those details right away. You wanna sit back and just observe for a little bit and then find those big shapes. What are the big shapes that are making up that animal? Take, for instance, these giraffes. So, watch as these giraffes walk across the plains. As they walk, I'm going to go ahead and freeze frame right here. So now what I want you to look at, let's look at these big shapes on, on this guy right here. Look at these big shapes. This, I, I chose a draft because they've got these wonderful wedge shapes to their body. You see that wedge shape right there? And it's mimicked, you know, the opposite direction in their heads. Look at that really wonderful triangular shape. So we've got these two triangular shapes here you know I look I look for shapes like that and then I want to connect them together and I'm looking for other things too as I'm thinking about the shapes I'm thinking about how are those shapes connecting well I see that we've got a peak right here where the shoulder blades come up and the neck comes in about halfway across this big shape here but look at those shapes right there there's a big shape there big shape here and that's where we start. You want to start looking at the big shapes. So we find that, then off of that, we can pull our legs. And I keep them very loose to begin with. And here, we've got a bit of a perspective, right? So we've got a hip right here. It comes down to the knee, down to the ankle, and down to the hoof. Big shapes. Look at this one. Look at There's a shape here. Just simplify it. Here's our triangle in, in perspective. Just like so. Then attach those legs. Okay? Same thing over here. We've already done that. So look for those big, big shapes. Let's look at, let's, uh, look at a couple of others. Now this one, I want you to look at the overlapping shapes. So there's, we can find, uh, with four-legged animals like this, um, we can do it with the giraffes. We can do it with cats like this. I like to break them up into the, the various shapes that make up their form. And what I mean by that is this. Let's look at this, this cheetah right here. He's got, let's start from, from the furthest away and we'll work forward. We've got this head shape right here. And I'm just going to be very simple. We've got the neck coming down and into the shoulders. And then the reason I'm bringing this up and showing you like this so I want you to see them in their different components. Four-legged animals basically have six parts to their body. They've got their head, their neck, shoulders, trunk, hips, and tail. Okay, so here's our head. Shape, shape. And notice how they're overlapping. Here's our shoulders, which I'm keeping as a simple shape. We're going to go into our, our elbow and our forearm and into our paw. Okay, now look at this. Here's our, the trunk of the body. See how we've got these overlapping shapes that come into each other. And this has got this wonderful curve to it, like a lot of predators have. Nice and slender build. Nice curve right there. And then we have the hips that go right here, or the pelvis, I should say. The pelvis, which goes into the hips and comes down to the knee. Look at this simple shape right here. Trunk of the body is a simple shape going into the neck. But the biggest thing I want you to look at is how the shapes overlap. Think about that. Think about how they overlap. That's going to give you depth. That's going to give you perspective. Okay? I'm keeping these shapes very simple when I draw them. This is how I start out every animal drawing that I do. I think about these basic shapes right here. 
Okay, let's look at a couple of others. So as you can see here, we've got this elephant, and as you as we draw the head, look at the head. Look how that body relates to the head. And we add the trunk, we add the ears, and we add the legs. Look how nicely that comes together. When you just look at those major shapes, then you get that together, then you can add your details. Let's look at another one. So as we look at this Cape Buffalo and we freeze frame it right here, I really like this pose. Once again, this is, even though it looks like it's a simple shape, we've got some complex shapes in here. Look at the shape of this head and how it works with the, with the horns. Then we go into the neck, then into those shoulders. Remember I was talking about overlapping those shapes like I did with the cheetah. We go into the shoulders and the front legs. That overlaps with the body, the main body, the trunk. And that's going to overlap with the pelvis and the hips and the rear legs. And in this case, don't be afraid to, if, 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 if you want a better drawing, in this case, I decided to bring the tail out and separate it from the silhouette and also add to the flow. So here we've got the tail. So once again, it goes from the head to the neck, into the shoulders, front legs, the trunk of the body, then into the pelvis, back legs, and the tail. Those are the six overlapping masses in the body. And those are the, the big shapes that I like to concentrate on. So that's it. I hope you uh, learned something from that. Once again, when you're drawing animals from life, think about the big shapes that they're making up. Think about the, the massive shapes first, get those down, then you can start adding your details. All right. So go on out there do some drawing, put some beauty back into the world and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.